Have a look at that! Nice oh, screaming. That is unbelievable. Oh, a nice hit. Well done! Oh. Look at that. Not a bad sight. Oh, mate. Hi and welcome to Fishing WA. Today we're down here at Albany at Shelley Beach. A great gutter behind me there. Could be herring, could be whiting. We're going to mix it up today. We've got baits, we've got the lures. Anything's possible. Sit back and relax. Let's have a look. Shelley Beach is a short drive just west of Albany. Today I'm armed with the extreme light flick rod and anticipate bread and butter species like herring or the tasty sand whiting. This coastline is made up of granite rock and beautiful sandy beaches. Catching fish at this destination isn't a matter of if, but when. Nibble nibble. Ah yeah, inski. So important to put that burly in the water. You can see that, that slick right here in front of me. Basically it's just pellets, it's pre-mixed uh, burly and oil, fish oil. There's a lot of beach here, but you want to bring the fish to you. So, I've got a nice little gutter right in front of me. I've got a little bit of reef on the right hand side. Perfect location. To catch herring, whiting, all sorts. In the wave, surf the wave. There you go. Have a look at that. Plump Elmney herring. All right, now you slow down a little bit. You should just before I de-hook it, that one there is the Black Magic Whiting Snatcher. Catches whiting, catches herring, as you can see there. And it's got that kale circle hook. It's got some tinsel on there. And herring whiting, they love that rig. I'll show you a little bit later the rig in detail. There you go, the Australian herring. Basically, the bigger brother is the salmon, which goes to say six, seven, eight kilos, especially along this stretch of beach here. There is salmon, but today, the call is to do a bit of beach fishing, because back at home, we get a lot of requests for more beach, more bread and butter species. Well, there you go. This one's going back in the water. I reckon if I do another cast, I'll be on straight away. Now, sometimes these fish hit so hard, they can strip the bait off very quickly, so, Next cast I do, as soon as I feel any bite, I'm gonna set the hook. Sometimes you just gotta mix it up. Some fish often wanna take the bait down, and then you set the hook. In this situation, I reckon there's a school of herring and whiting out there that are nailing me straight away. So, revenge time. The call today was to do a bit of beach fishing. We're at Shelley Beach, which is basically around about maybe a 45 minute drive from Albany, but for 45 minutes, this is well worth it. It's a nice little, oh, small bay, but quite sort of isolated here. A lot of Albany is made up of like rich rock headlands all the way around. This one's got the rocky headland, nice little beach, and there we go. White ting. That one there's a sandy. Often if you leave your bait out there, sometimes you can get a double header as well. In this situation, I was eager to obviously uh, not get my bait stripped. These rigs are so effective. And even better, you don't have to tie it yourself. Certainly one of the most effective rigs. Black Magic have got that one absolutely spot on. And there you go, a little sandy. Let's drop that rig out of my hand. There you go. So camouflaged. If you were to swim out there, you wouldn't even see them on the bottom there. They adapt to their surroundings so easily. And his lucky day, beautiful eating, but I'm here to do a bit of catch and release. So off he goes. There he goes. Well, the burly's certainly working. As soon as things slow down, I'm gonna increase the amount of bird I put in the water because when they're on the bite, you don't wanna slow them down. To find out more information about Fish and WA or just wanna ask a question, like us on Facebook. Alright, 
I certainly love my beach fishing. Right now we're down here at Albany at Shelley Beach, which is around about 45 minute drive from Albany. A nice little sheltered bay. So it's all sand through here and rocky headlands to my left and my right, which normally through April, May, is loaded with salmon. Right now, salmon bites all finished. Which suits me, spotted beach fishing. Which is something that more and more people ask about. You know, they say, you know, show us more bread and butter species. Show us more beach fishing. Well, here I am. Best thing about it, whiting and herring. Tastes so nice. Smoke up the herring. Roll mops. Whiting to shallow fry. Really are nice eating fish. What a way to spend a pleasant morning. Shelly Beach, I'm gonna enjoy this. It's certainly liking that squid at the moment. I've been mixing up the different baits, and because I've been pecking off the uh, muley, I've stuck with the squid. And so far, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. So I'll stick with that squid at the moment. What have I got? Maybe a flathead. Bit of a weird day. What have we got here? Would you believe it? A squid? Unbelievable. I've got a squid. <laughs> what is it? No, it's, I think a squid came up behind the whiting. Yeah, a squid came up behind the whiting. But this is a double header of plump whiting. Which has come up here out of the waves. And there you go. Where there's one, there's normally more. So important to leave your bait there. Once you've got a hook up, leave your bait there, try to get a double, and that bottom fish is a nice plump whiting. Albany, Shelley Beach. Good mate Morris Wilkinson from Albany said, if you want some nice beach fish, Shelley Beach is it. I think he's right. If there's one thing I get asked in my tackle store all the time is, What's the key to catch more fish, especially land base, off the rocks, off the beach? Burley, so important. So you've got your fish oil, absolute must to pour in the water, stir up the herring and guardies and whatnot. This one here is you've got your pellets, also a great one to throw in the water, and then you've got your pre-mixed stuff there. So three different types of oils and burley. It's so important to keep on putting that burley in the water, just a little bit at a time. Right now, the fish are going a little bit quiet, so I'm gonna burley up right now. Now when you put the uh, oil in, you can just put it around the sand where the water's lapping right here. That way it takes a lot longer for it to actually go into the system. So just on the sand, a few more pellets, just sprinkle them, and naturally the beach whitewash will drag it out to the gutter where the fish are sitting. And that's it. A little bit of premix. Premix is basically a little bit more of a solid mix that you normally put in burly cages, but also effective off the beach. Watch this, they'll come on the bite. Oh, yeah, on. That's better. That burly's now got the fish back on the chew. The sun's coming out, it's a bit of a weird morning. Sun and cloud, in and out. But no rain, even better. And you can also see the outfit I'm using, a lot of people might be thinking you're beach fishing and it's like a six foot six rod. Don't you need like a 10 footer? No you don't. Just a small little fun outfit. Generally around about 10 pound outfit, two to four kilo, more than enough. Oh, whiting, I thought it was herring. Well, this place is really firing. Look at that double header. There's one fish that everyone loves eating, whether you've got a boat or land base, is whiting. Such a sweet fish to eat. Now this place is starting to fire up. I saw a few herring sort of balls on top there, which means they're on the chew. So I might even soon take off the rig, try the extreme metal slice. In the meantime, I'm having a lot of fun with bait. There's one. 
No legal size limit to the whiting, just a bag limit. They freeze well, these fish. There you go. Oh, okay. Off they go. Nice quick release. I love my beach fishing. Throughout Fishing WA TV series, you've seen us use the Extreme gear. Let me show you just some of the products. We've got the Extreme PE braid, very well priced. From brim braid all the way through to Jewfish, awesome stuff. We've got the Extreme hooks. From skippy size all the way to Jewfish, snapper, you name it. Ultra sharp, ultra strong. We've got the metal slice. Everyone loves the metal slice there. From herring all the way up to Taylor salmon size, great product. You always need leader, the Extreme leader from low poundage all the way up to the heavy stuff there for offshore deep water fishing. If you're chasing Jewfish or Snapper, Bolch and Groper, the Octo Jig and the Metal Jig, all different sizes, different colours, this will get you a lot of reef fish and out of the rods. The Fishing WA Extreme range is huge, from squidding to bottom bouncing to trolling to poppering to jigging, you name it, we've got it. Very well priced, ultra light. Check them out at your nearest Extreme Tackle retailers or check them out online extremetackle.com.au Now behind me the herring on the bite, so off goes the whiting snatcher rig, on goes the Extreme 20 gram metal slice. Whilst I'm here I'll show you my outfit in detail. This is the Fishing WA Extreme 2-4 kilo rod, 6 foot 6 in length and you don't need a long rod at all. Not for this whiting herring stuff, nice little tip action. Down to the reel, Dial Caldia 2500 reel with a silky smooth drag system, which I like. Do rate my dial reels and the braid. That one there is 10 pound extreme braid. You could use six pound, but I've got 10 pound on there right now. Now I'll show you my lure and leader setup in detail. Okay, so at the end of the extreme 10 pound braid, use Bimney, why Bimney? Doubles up the diameter, braid's very thin. It can actually cut into your trace line. So just a short Bimney, back-to-back -back uni knot, very effective. About a metre of fluorocarbon, which is around about 10 to 20 pound. I think I'm using 10 pound right now. Down to the most important thing, the metal slice. That's a new one, the extreme one, 20 grams in weight, more than enough to get it out there. And it comes with a swivel attachment as well. And the best thing about it, very inexpensive. All right, I reckon less yibby yabba, time to start casting. Well, not always on TV you catch fish. I'm not catching fish because that slick's gone out further and whilst I'm still seeing a few herring and just hooked one just then, dropped it, they're going off the bite. So quick re -burly. you watch, they'll come on like that. Gotcha. And amazing, just right behind this dirty water, I can see herring. They've come in for that burly, get out of that little rip. They've come in for the burly and straight on to the extreme metal slice. Yeah, nice herring. Often you use the metal lure and you'll get the bigger herring. And have a look at that one on the metal slice. You give it a quick D hook and we'll give you a close look. Well, there you go. A plump herring on the metal slice. Now look, I'm happy to catch and release fish. I'm also happy for people to keep some. I think the daily bag limit for these fish combined with whiting is about 30, so statewide. So it's 30 combined of sand whiting and herring. Your lucky day, mate. You are plump, but bit of catch and release today. Off he goes. I reckon a quick cast. I'll be back on again. This year we are giving away $2,000 worth of Extreme Tackle as well as a Bradley 6 rack smoker valued at $1,200. To enter, all you have to do is like us on Facebook. Okay, I've changed over now from the Extreme Slice to the bait rig. Morris is going to kill me if I don't bring home at least a few whiting. Baited up, ready to go. No, my luck, I'll probably cast out and get a herring. But no, I'm confident on the whiting. Such a beautiful sandy beach. Decent cast in that nice clean water. Wait for the uh, rod tip bites. Okay, gotcha. 
Now, should I be greedy and go for the double? Or maybe get this one in? Yeah, I'll bring this one in. Definitely feels like a Sam White. It's got that little, little one thumping little bites and then the little tail kicks now. That's why you should always bring a flick rod. You can come down and chase salmon, but always bring a little flicky because you can do the whiting and herring. Especially if the fish aren't on the bite. Salmon are going a bit quieter apparently at Albany, so whilst you're down here on holidays, you can do this as well. What have we got here? Why ting. A little bit smaller than some of the other ones, but fish nonetheless. No, Morris, I'm not taking this one home. I want a bigger one. So you've got to be patient. Often you feel like you've got the fish hooked, but you haven't. You've got to wait for that rod to load up, the KL hook to hook the actual whiting in the side. Then you're on. Wind up that slack. That way you're maintaining pressure always on the rod tip. That's better. That is a better one. This might be a keeper, I reckon, this whiting. No legal size limit, but if I'm gonna fill it down to whiting, the bigger the better. Good to see so many people on the beach as well, you know. A combination of sort, of sort of older people coming down here, maybe retirees, got a few families kicking about, which is really good to see. Doesn't matter if you're young or old, it's the best thing about fishing. Anyone can do it. Oh, it's a double, that's why. Anyone can do it. Oh, there's one just fell off. He's a smallie and that's not a bad size. I might actually keep that one. And if I get time a little bit later, I'll take off a couple of quick fillets. Oh, you're not going back. There you go. Sam Whiting. They really do blend in with their environment. If he's on the bottom of the sand, you will not see him at all. So if you're a mulloway or a uh, salmon, you wouldn't be able to spot this whatsoever. Well, this one here, I'm going to spike it, put it on ice. Fill it down. So important to make sure you wind up that slack. So after you've done your cast, let's sink down and on. And that was right in close. I had a wave nearly come and hit me, so I thought I won't uh, go in too far. Right in close. Oh, yeah. It's not bad. Shows to show you. Initially, the bites were very small. That's why I left it there. And on. What have we got? Sort of only be one or two species, but out of those two, what have I got? I'm thinking whiting. There's a little bit of reef there to the right, and I've actually lost a few fish. You wouldn't believe it. Being so small, you think they couldn't do you in, but yes, they can. Oh, what's it? Herring? Oh, there you go. I think that might be a fitting way. Oh, what a plump herring. A little bit of a wash down. Let's get away from that water. And what a way to finish today. Basically, Sam Whiting and herring basically going off. And have a look at that. That is one big bull herring. Might keep this one. Bring back a few whiting. Look at that. Herring are great fun. They do jump as well. And full of muscle for such a small fish. Just remember, that is basically the same family as the salmon, but obviously just the uh, smaller cousin. So, well, I reckon that's it for us. Time to uh, clean down the fish now, and then definitely home ski. Okay, we can clean down the fish. A good knife. That Swebo knife is one of my favourites. It's got a nice flexi blade, especially for these small fish, because you don't want to cut out any extra meat. Now, to discard it, use the back edge of the knife all the way along, nice and quick. They're only very small scales. Like that. OK, 
Okay, your scale's done. Now to fill it down, what we're going to do is lift up the pec fin. Just get rid of the scales. Cut along here and it's basically down the backbone. Like that. Do the same for the other side. It's all done. Flex your knife all the way down. Roll it over. And that's it. Two nice fillets. I'll clean out that stuff there, give it a wash down. Then it's just made of dusting and flour and yummo. Well, that's it for me, all done. Fish caught, fish cleaned. Now the drive, only 45 minutes back to the accommodation. It's got a great shower, comfy couch, looking forward to it. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Fishing WA. Oh, 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 oh,